right now as in right now i got the package that i have been looking the most forward to since buying the indian scout bobber because today i got a box and you probably already know by just looking at the thumbnail and read the title i got the brand new fully adjustable piggyback shocks from indian and oh happy days i have been looking forward to this because the stock suspension on this scout is i'm sorry but it's horrible horrible but i will also say it's okay because if we're looking at the segment who buys a bike like this it's probably not always the type looking what can i say for high quality suspension i really don't hope i offend anybody but if you like me fully adjustable suspension nice quality suspension is a must on all of my motorcycles including the scout bobber and especially because it is so bad if you own a scout bobber you know it's bad it looks good but it's bad so therefore in today's video i am going to show you how to install them and tell you how it is and tell you about the difference there is but let's first unbox the package that i got So here it is. Normally, I know it's a small detail, but normally when you get a box from Indian, it looks like this. And and this is one of the things I really love about Indian. I really love how they're branding themselves. But for some reason, we went from this to this. And who cares? Because it is what's inside of the box that matters. So let's take a look. Woo! Woo! Trying to look at that. Damn! Again, talking about branding. They're so beautiful. A really nice feature with this suspension is that it's actually hand adjustable, so you don't need any tools unless it's up here. So we have two hand dial we can use. A really, really sleek and beautiful design they have put into these adjustable suspension setup. So mounting the suspension is actually a pretty easy task when not using a good half an hour to figure out that I was mounting the left suspension on the right side and the right suspension on the left side. Just check that before mounting them on the bike. It is a waste of good 30 minutes. But it's on now, it was just a rookie mistake. It is easier if you have a workbench like I have here to mount the suspension because the new suspension is a little bit, almost a centimeter longer than the stock suspension. So you really have to lift the bike from the ground to be able to mount it to the bike. So if you have a lift and a good friend that will help you, it will make the process much easier easier but it really is too bold on the left side too bold on the right side and that's pretty much it if you're able to mount them while the exhaust is off much much easier so the next thing we have to do is to adjust the suspension and it is quite easy on this one because indian have made a scheme that you can follow just be aware of normally when talking about clicks when adjust the suspension it is 
clicks that you're counting but on these they are calling it clicks on the scheme but it's actually the level that it stands on uh, let me show you on the bike instead so what i meant before is that normally when setting up an adjustable suspension like this you are actually counting the physical clicks like this one two three but on these one i don't know why they are calling the first one zero clicks so this is the first one and then this is two three four and five so that is just something that you have to be aware of but the first one if we go all the way back this is what they call low speed riding also urban and then this is general ride this is general riding two up and then aggressive riding they also call it track aggressive riding so i thinking i will set mine to maybe the so this is the urban mode this is the general general two up i think is the one for me because i like to push my bike a little bit hard but maybe this is too hard but i'll figure out and it is the exactly same thing with the rebound we have one two three four and five so again i'm going with the one two three and four and let's see how this is for my weight and size So I just came back from the first trip with this suspension set up. I gotta be honest with y'all, this is worth every single penny. For me, a suspension upgrade is the best thing you can use money on when talking about performance upgrades to your motorcycle because in the past when when i've had sports bikes and also rode a lot of track days the suspension is key the suspension is what that can make you go from the first place to second place or third place so being able to have an adjustable suspension on a cruiser bike is It's actually just amazing. This is the first time I'm riding a cruiser bike where I can set up the suspension as I want to. And it is a huge difference. The stock suspension on the Scout Bobber is very stiff. Like, you can actually feel soreness in your lower back while riding if you're on a long trip. But this, going over road bumps and going down from the sidewalk or anything like that you, it's just so soft so this was just a quick little video i just got the suspension package in today and i just wanted to show you the installment and the difference it was a very very easy installment when i figured out that there was a left and right of course there is but when that said it was an easy task to do but i also had a workbench i could do it on and if you don't have that maybe it's not the easiest job but if you have access to the right tools it's an easy task to do so that was it folks please let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the suspension upgrade like this and i actually paid for my own suspension upgrade it was not sponsored or anything it is the best money I have spent on this bike that is by far the suspension setup if we are talking about the, the riding experience only and not the, what can I say, the exterior, the, the design or the sound. Pure performance, the rear suspension is a huge upgrade. You can also get it where it's inside the suspension itself so you are able to have saddlebags on as well. See you in the next one.